All right, welcome back to the show. Uh, of course, we're outside, and thankfully, it stopped <laughs> raining because yeah. it's barbecue time, and of course, barbecue on the bypass. This is a great event every year. Some of the top barbecue teams in North America. What? We're joined now by Angie Qualley from Well Seasoned, uh, who's going to be making some turkey burgers. How are you? Great. Hi, Angie. She's just working those gloves. I know. Well, yeah. She was double gunning me while I'm trying to work. That's now, Angie, fair. we should explain that yeah. I'm not just wearing these because I'm handling po poultry. It's because a couple years ago when you were on the show, I cut off my finger. <laughs> Most close. of it. Yeah. Part a good of it. portion of your knuckle. Anyway, uh, tell us about barbecue on the bypass. How yeah. many years now? Six years already. That's We've amazing. We've been here every year for six years promoting this event. It's Love getting it. bigger and bigger every year. This year, we have 30 teams coming from as far away as Regina, from uh, Oregon, all over Washington and all over BC. And maybe uh, explain the event for us. How does yeah. it work? Well, Barbecue on the Bypass is a traditional southern style barbecue contest. So the teams can only cook with charcoal or wood, so no gas cooking, except for the burger, and I'll talk about that in a second, but everything's slow and slow. So they're cooking beef brisket, pulled pork, mm. chicken and ribs. So the brisket and pork will cook for between 12 and 16 hours. And these guys literally, I mean, when the meat hits the grill and they start putting the big stuff on yeah. on, on Saturday, Saturday and night. they sleep like they stay yeah. overnight with the right grills. there yeah they have to keep an eye on the fire that's one of the challenges when you're cooking with wood or charcoal yeah. is you have to maintain that temperature all night and especially they're not calling for rain anymore thankfully but <laughs> um, you know in a cooler temperature those you can get a 25 50 degree fluctuation and that makes a big, that makes a big difference on yeah. the finished product and what are we making today well part of the barbecue on the bypass this year is um the ultimate burger challenge so one of our sponsors I like the way you think Angie, i know all the she's time. a good lady why not take a burger and make <laughs> so them what make is it the better? challenge and what are we doing today well jd farms they're really awesome turkey farmers from from langley um local they, local we love that. <laughs> so they're providing each of the teams with five pounds of fresh ground turkey so they're doing turkey turkey breast and turkey thigh, so it's pretty lean, but still a little bit of fat from the thigh to keep it nice and moist. So the ultimate uh, burger contest, the teams get to do whatever they want. So this is really an opportunity for them Be to show off a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So my idea of the ultimate burger is... What are we doing? Um, it's called a luscious lemon burger. Food. Okay. So, I got um, my turkey, what do I do? All right, you're gloved up. So this is our ground turkey. We're going to dump in some black olives, and mm -hmm. those are just some nice kalamatas. Uh, the luscious lemon part, the lemon zest. This is grated onion. This is a sweet Walla Walla onion that I grated on a, on a grater. And it's going to keep some extra moisture in the burger instead of those big chunks of onions. Yeah. It's going to blend in Is that in why you grated it? Because the, the texture of it, you can see, it's like kind of like crushed garlic. Yeah, but it's really... And then it infuses the yeah, entire it does. burger. And puts a bit more moisture in because the turkey itself is it's pretty a little lean. Dry. Yeah. Yep. And that's some fresh garlic. Lots and of garlic. Lots of garlic. And a good pinch of salt and pepper. By pinch, you mean handful. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it. And some uh, Greek oregano. Beautiful. There we go. Am I? Yeah. Giddy up. Am so I getting in I, there? I have a question sure. about logistics because, yeah. of course, these guys are making. Uh, you know, when they're doing their traditional stuff, they're making briskets, they're making racks, they're doing all that stuff. Yeah, the burger challenge. Who, had, who eats all the food? Me! <laughs> well, you could if you were coming. Mike yeah, that's what I'm getting to. So when people come and they experience oh, oh, it, man Matt down. overboard, man down. Uh, they actually get to try things. Well, what happens is we do have a panel of, of certified judges. So in order to be an actual judge at the event, you have to take uh, training to so that everybody's being judged equally. Right, makes so sense. We so do by barbecue judge training, I would imagine that means that you have to try some great brisket and you have to <laughs> you try have to some train. great pulled pork. And some bad stuff. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Just you so have you can get to that have right. a benchmark, right? Right. So we do. We offer training at Well Seasoned once or twice a year. So if you visit the Well Seasoned website, which is wellseasoned.ca, you'll see a list of our classes, and we do offer judges training in there. So the judges come out that are trained, and they actually evaluate the meat for the for the scores. Yeah. But after the teams turn in their meat to be judged, they sample it all to the public. So the public <laughs> gets to eat all the leftovers. Huzzah! For free. Mike, yeah, I feel like cool. we should reenact the scene from Ghost right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, that scene. Sorry, I was thinking of a different scene. Um, so that is going to be the topping for our burger, Mike. So kay. that's some Greek yogurt. Dump it all in. Yep, nice and thick Greek and yogurt. And what is different about Greek yogurt? It's one of those popular foods right There's now, but Greek it's yogurt. actually just really good for you. It's a good quality yogurt. It's a good quality yogurt, but it's been strained, so all the extra liquid's out of it, and it's really nice and thick, and it's almost like 
It's like eating sour cream, like that really rich yeah. texture, but you still get that really nice sour bite of the yogurt. And it's good for what you're doing right now, of course, because it's got that that heavier, denser right. texture. Right, right. So if you want to form up some burgers, Fiona. Forming. Um, we've got some burgers already on the grill cooking, but I'm just going to butter our buns because, Yeah, you, know, you are. Who doesn't like a nice, <laughs> toasty bun? And while you're doing that, maybe you can tell us about Well Seasoned. We keep on mentioning it, but yeah. what it is and uh, what you do. Well, Well Seasoned is a gourmet food store and a cooking school out in Langley. And um, we have chefs that come from all over to teach a little bit of, um, of everything. So we do sushi and Thai and Mexican classes and all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, all the classes are listed on our website. And when Excellent. you come out to Barbecue on the Bypass, you can You find can out sign up for some classes. Right. And, oh, look at oh. the burgers. Your burgers are so perfect. Mine look Thank so you. sad. Thank uh, you. Luscious lemon Zesty burgers. burgers. Yep. Zesty burgers. Okay. That's Made it. with love. A lot of alliteration. That's Made right. with love. Okay, so we're so going to give gonna you the deal. So we're just going to toast up our buns. These burgers are ready to go. Once our burgers are um, off the grill, we're going to um, dress them and eat them. Dress me. So if you want to go to barbecue on the bypass, it is the sixth annual, and it means that you get to eat a lot of great barbecue. It's happening on September the 18th. You can go to the Well Seasoned website to find out all the information, and also you can find out all the info on all the great cooking classes. You are excellent at handling the meat. Aren't I, though? Yep. <laughs> Very good at it. All right, Mike, let's bring some of that yeah. topping over here. Yeah. I think he putting burgers on. Do you have a recommended uh, amount no, for it's whatever you yeah, feel like? Yeah, because I'm 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 big on this. I are think you? this yeah this I think it's gonna be really the, the money me right. quite delicious. Fiona, are you gonna eat? Um well, after yes. Being that I have raw turkey hands. She's not, not allowed to eat on TV. Well you might want to unglove and then you can eat because then you have clean hands. Cucumber? Yes please. Are, are you, you an onion burgers? guy? Uh, yes I am please. Fiona, onions for you? Oh absolutely. Sweet. So I guess we're not making out now. Well, yeah, that's why. Since I'm you've both eaten them, you oh, can, right, we actually, can. Thank right? you. Okay, yeah. we're going to take the a loophole. break. And when we return, we've got more Urban Rush right after this. Don't go away. The loophole is not onions. Is it? <laughs>